I would do. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh, God, it's over. My life is over. Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so are you all right? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, all right? You sit tight. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. I mean, you know. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or three? Uh, s sorry ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Yeah, it's weird how many people in this game are hitting on me. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? Alright, thanks for your time. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. We'll get back to that. Hey, are you the kid who ran away from home? Huh? Oh man, how'd you... Your father's worried sick about you. Why'd you leave anyway? Because he wants me to, like, take up the family business. And I ain't doing it, man. I'm a rebel. Yes, we can see that. Well, perhaps you should let your father know that you're alive and well, and also explain to him why you left. Oh, man. Why do people always gotta hassle me? Yeah, all right, I'll do it. But first, you gotta do something for me, man. The guy who runs the tavern's been helping me since I got here. And I want to give him something nice. I was thinking I could, like, cook dinner or something, but I don't have any ingredients or whatever, so, yeah. If it'll get you back home to your father sooner, then fine, I'll help. What do you need? This guy, man, he don't eat nothing but fish all the time, every day. Fish, fish, fish. So I was thinking he might, like, want to try eating meat or whatever, you know, for a change. So could you give me, like, five pieces of mutton and three pieces of goat meat? I probably have the goat meat and might not have the mutton. I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to his place whenever, man. Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mutton, huh? Can I buy it? Because if I can buy it, I'm doing that.
We've got... Seed. It's a fish shop. I'm gonna guess I can't buy it here. Okay, well, I guess I'm heading back. Something about that shade seems rather odd. So when are they going to tell me that shades were once people? Hey, look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the Shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna head to the northern plain and kill a few sheep. Or be real with you, it, it's not worth my time. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna buy four, it's fine. I can make the money back easily. Sure you um, come back. Where do I hear me? Got some. The um. We've got some. Come back. Can you not buy them anywhere? It's not fair. She's so young. Her whole life. Yeah, I guess I can't buy mutton. I have to actually get it. Wild. No wonder that lady's willing to pay me such aberrant prices. Alright. Time to commit murder. I think that we just raise some of these sheep. We just get the town together, clear out a field, and then we'd have a constant supply of food. But that seems like too much effort for these people. Time to get me some mutton. Don't steal my kills. And a broken saw. Ooh, it's a broken saw. Ba ba ba. Ka ka.
Looks like we've got everything the runaway yeah. kid asked for. Let's go make the delivery. Perfect. And while I'm here. Okay, never mind. I'm lucky the boss will have spawned so I can quickly kill him as I'm passing through. Speak of the devil, he shall appear. Hopefully I get a good drop. The uncommon drop of very much appreciated. Nope, nothing. Unfortunately. Up to adventure! Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. This is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh God, how could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because, because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. about oh, oh you found my bag thank you so much i can't believe i went and dropped it like that oh, this is such a relief <sighs> okay seriously what's going on what five minutes later after we i see the so you found a shade with my bag and assumed i'd been attacked and killed I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Yeah. But also, I'm a busybody. I can't believe you didn't listen to me, and... You ate my apple. You are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Wait, you're asking me? It's... Listen. She may have lost the bag, which is unfortunate, but on she was traveling, it can happen. Dude, you didn't even remember that she fucking told you she'd be gone for a week! Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Uh-oh. Did I cross a line there? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did. And I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon? Oh. 
Honestly, both of them. Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. And talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. I am so confused by people like this. One hour later. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? This is exactly what I hate about you. Fine, hate me! I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you! Vice, what do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it! I have had enough! Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great! Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. Oh my god. I hate people like this. I hate people like this. I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well? In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal! I'm not asking him yet. I need a break for a moment. Tavern, that's where I was going. Hi, are you the guy who's- Runaway? It would seem we've been back- oh, You've gotta be kidding me, seriously? Uh, still, I guess we can tell his father he's alive at least. Wow, this trip to Seafront has just been terrible. I hate you guys still. I need to whip up a- I can't thank you. Uh, sure, but all right. That's well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. This is stupid. This is all stupid. I hate these people. That was a new message. It was cute. The couple awesome. with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Like an old married couple. 